What's up guys, it's Darius, and today I'm coming back to you guys with another, uh, actually Final Fantasy VII video. Now today is actually going to be talking about the releases of Final Fantasy VII uh, Remake. Now, we actually knew in the past, we heard that uh, Final Fantasy VII would be released in parts. Now, mo most people took that as, you know, the game going to be episodic. And, you know, nowadays, if a game is episodic, we can expect the releases to be around anywhere from 3 to 5 hours. But something has actually come out recently with everything going on with Square Enix and uh, Final Fantasy XV. And with that, obviously, people are going to ask uh, questions about other games that they're working on. Um, now, this article comes from Technobuffalo. I'm going to have the article down below. Uh, multiple sites are uh, reporting this, but I'm just taking it from this website because uh, this is where I actually found it. Um, but, you know, they mentioned that Final Fantasy VII, we knew that it would be released in multi multiple parts um, and like I said before people actually thought that this would be episodic which is anywhere from like three to five hours um, but recently uh, Katase actually confirmed something in terms of the length of the game or how they're actually trying to release the game so this is the exact quote he had to say the idea that the re that a remake of Final Fantasy 7 would not fit into a single release was there from the very beginning we still can't share more information about its multiple parts, but please look forward to future announcements. If we dedicated our time to a single release, parts of it would become summarized. We have to cut some parts and additional parts would come in, uh, come in few. So rather than remake the game as a full volume, we decided to do multiple parts. How, we, how exactly the game will be split remains unclear, but the intention on Square's part is to recreate as much of the game as they can and add new things to discover using the increased focus on individual parts to make that a possibility. Square Enix has further detailed a gaming press that instead of concluding in one entry, multiple entries are being considered in development. Each entry will have its own unique story. As a gaming experience, each entry will have the volume of content equal to a full-size game. Uh, so yeah, that's basically what he had to say, and that's pretty good news because, um, you know, it seems as though that they're going to be putting as much work as they can into these games but at the same time it's so much that they want to do that they're they don't think it'll be able to fit into one game um so yeah whether or not that's really the case um you know whether or not we want that to happen that's only unto us um but um they go on to say that because this is you know this is apparently going to be a thing that each release is going to be a full-size game we can kind of look at the model that they had with the 13 series, how um, you know that game story was split up into three different games, and each game took about uh, 30 to 35 hours. Now, me personally, the first uh, 13 took me like 50 hours to do just because um, there were certain parts that I really could not get past, and I kind of you know screwed myself over by not saving. Uh, but the game was hard, but that's what made the game actually really special to me. That um, you know, I was basically stuck at a certain part, but I was able to get past it. But whatever, that's just besides the point. Um, now, the fact that these games are going to be um, probably a trilogy, just like 13, uh, but also be full-size games, that's good to hear. Um, but I don't know if I actually said this in my last video that I did for um, Final Fantasy VII Remake, but I do still believe that they would be able to... <coughs> they would be able to make this game uh, into a full game and that would obviously take longer for them to do but I would still rather wait for it to just be a full game and then redo it from the ground up uh, in, into one disc then have it be split up um, but who knows this could be good you know the way they do it could be if they're saying they're gonna be full-size games and it's going to be fully explorable and it's gonna take as long as about um, the time it did for 13 and all three installments, then, you know, that's fine by me, honestly, if it, if it really is that, because those games were very, you know, those were full games. And um, this also has to do into uh, the fact that the pricing for the game, you know, what what does this entail now? People were thought, thought it might be, um, you know, maybe $20 an episode. So, like, if there were three episodes, they were come together to be $60 if they were to do like a future release and have all three come together um, but now that they're saying they're full size this could be actually something for $50 maybe $60 uh, 
Um, so yeah, I mean, if they're going to be full-size game, they could very well be $60, just like the 13 series was. Um, and all together now, they're probably going to amount to about uh, maybe 90 hours, 90 hours plus. Um, but uh, the original Final Fantasy VII took about 40 hours uh, to complete if you just did the story. Uh, so we can probably expect around uh, 20 to 30 hours, so we could probably get around 60 hours of just story, not including all of the extra gameplay that you can get out of it. Uh, so yeah, that's basically about it. Let me know what you guys think of all this. I think the only downfall to this is that really, the game really is going to take a really long time to come out. Um, especially depending on the different episodes. Obviously, as the uh, episodes or installments get uh, bigger, we're going to have to wait longer. Um, but if the episodes or installments are just as big as they're saying they are, we should be held over until the next one at least. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think of all this down in the comment section below. Do you like the, uh, does it sound good to you that these, uh, you know, installments are going to be full-size games and they're going to be uh, worth your money? Or do you not, do you not wish that they would do this? Do you think, do you think they should just wait and put it all into one game so you don't have to wait for each episode to come out and have to pay, you know, again for the, you know, uh, maybe another $60 for the next installment for a game where the full story was in there in the original and you would just rather play it all. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please, again, go in the comment section below and discuss with other people. Uh, share this amongst friends who are not aware of this information, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.